In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how automation can transform your private practice by reducing your stress and saving you hours. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists in private practice with their business systems and processes, getting them confident with admin and reducing tech overwhelm. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today. Completing time consuming admin tasks in your private practice can really lead to burnout, cause you stress, waste so many hours of your life. And that is what I want to help you with today. By automating these time consuming and repetitive tasks by using software and systems, you are going to save yourself a lot of headaches. Okay, so what are the benefits of automation. So number one, it can reduce human error. If you do a task and set it up to be automated by a system, the system is not going to get it wrong because you are going to take your time, you're going to make sure everything is set up correctly, and then the system is just going to handle that for you. If you are having to do a specific task on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, there is a chance that there will be some human error. Number two, it's going to streamline the tasks for you. When you start looking at a task and working out a process for a system or software to take it over, you are going to make sure that that process is super streamlined and every single client is going to get the same experience. And by taking out all of these tasks that you don't actually need to do yourself, it is going to free up the mental energy so that you can do what you do best and that is therapy with the client. So how can automation reduce your stress and save you time? Number one, it can eliminate manual admin work. So basically, if there's a task that you're doing in your private practice, there's probably a way to automate it. So for example, if you give your clients some paperwork at their first session, for example, maybe you have an intake form and a therapy agreement, maybe you print those off, you give them to your client face to face, they need to then complete them, you need to then scan them back into your system and upload them to some kind of filing system, or you just take that paperwork and you put it away in a physical filing system. That is a laborious task that you don't actually need to do. And we're going to talk about client paperwork a bit later. It also gives your clients an improved experience. Automation leads to a better, more clear and more consistent communication with your clients. So regardless of what it is that they are asking from you, you don't have to rely on your memory of something or what it is you said before or what your process is. The automation is already set up for you and you can just click a button and deal with it or the system will have already taken care of it for you. And we'll talk about some specific examples in a little bit. You really want to give your clients an amazing experience outside the therapy room as well as inside the therapy room. So every single time they touch a part of your private practice, they are getting that same consistent experience with you and that is going to help them stay longer working with you. And the third way automation helps you in private practice is lets you focus on what matters. If you free up all this mental energy from doing all these repetitive laborious admin tasks, you are going to have more energy to focus on your clients and their care. You're also going to have more energy for your family and things outside of your private practice as well. Okay, so let's talk about some key areas that you can automate in your private practice. The first way is by creating email templates for all your most frequently asked questions and most frequent scenarios. So if you can start compiling a list of all of the emails you get from your clients, you can start putting together email templates so that you can just insert as needed. So rather than having to start to write an email from scratch every single time, you will have a template that you can start with. Of course, you can personalize it and amend it as needed, but you will always have that starting point, which is going to reduce a lot of your mental energy from starting from scratch. This might not seem like a really big deal and that answering emails is really simple, but actually it can save you a lot of time in the long run. If you think about how you would respond to client inquiries, how you would onboard a new client, how you would deal with cancellations, whether they are, you know, with lots of notice or really short notice, how you would deal with sending invoices and reminding clients about overdue invoicing, the list goes on and on. And if you can start creating those templates, that is really going to save you some time. Now, I actually do have a free resource, which is called Gmail templates, but you can use them for any um, email platform system. And it gives you a point to start from 
because I have the templates for all of those things I just mentioned and then you can just add on your own as well. So that is the first place I would start is with getting some email templates set up. Although that's not pure automation where someone emails you and it automatically replies to them, it is gonna save you a lot of time just by inserting a template and then just having to do a quick personalization and sending it off rather than writing from scratch every single time. The second way, and I mentioned this at the beginning, is with your client intake and onboarding. Like I said before, with regards to paperwork, you can actually upload your paperwork to an e-signature platform, or you can use Google Forms if you're using Google Workspace. And then you can just link to the paperwork in a welcome email to your clients and ask the client to fill them in online. The beauty of this is that they can just complete them on any device that they have to hand, whether that's their phone or an iPad or their computer, they can fill in the paperwork online and then you will be sent a notification that they have completed it. They will also get a signed copy for themselves as well so that they can always refer back to it if needed. This is going to save you and your clients so much time and hassle and I would really recommend starting here. So if email templates don't seem like a perfect way to get started, get started with getting your paperwork online. So my recommendations for this are Google Forms or Signable. If you have a paid Google Workspace account, just use Google Forms. It's gonna be free and it's super easy to set up. If you're not using this, I would recommend Signable because they have a pay as you go option. I've got a video all about Signable here, which I will link and it goes through a step-by-step -step of how to set it up. I'll also do Google Forms one in the future as well. So um, as and when I do that, I'll link to that below, but it's not currently there at the moment, but you will be able to just Google how to set up Google Forms and there'll be tons of videos on that on YouTube. Now, the next way is with client scheduling. My caveat for this is that what I think you should do if possible is have regular weekly and fortnightly slots for your clients rather than letting them book in with you ad hoc. I have loads of reasons around this and again I do have a video on why you should have weekly and bi-weekly clients which I will link. That is going to save you in itself so much time and hassle because then the client's going to know, okay, every Monday at 10 a.m. I'm seeing my therapist or every other Monday at 10 a.m. I am seeing my therapist. You can then use something like a Google Calendar. So I would recommend getting an online calendar so that you can send an invite to your client, whether that is a face-to-face -face appointment or online. So they have an invitation, they can add it to their own calendar, they have the location of the therapy all there, whether that's clicking a link to go online or directions to your place of work. If you don't have the type of client base that you can have regular weekly or fortnightly sessions, I would recommend using something like TidyCal or Calendly, which is a really inexpensive way for you to be able to get clients to book sessions with you. You can also attach a cost to that so they have to pay as they book a session with you. It's linked to your online calendar so they can only book in in available spaces. So that is another option for you. You can also do this with Google Calendar directly if you have the business standard account or above. You can give your client a link to a scheduler within your Google Calendar and then they can book with you. Otherwise, you can use Calendly or TidyCal and then going forward, if you have a really busy practice or you feel like you can afford it, you can upgrade to an EHR like Power Diary. And I'll talk about EHRs in a bit because that is like the king of automation. You can do so much if you have an EHR, but I do think there are lots that you can do before if you are not quite ready for an EHR. Okay, so once you have your clients booked in, you also want to send them automated reminders. Now, I know therapists that in the morning, they'll go in and they'll send reminders to all of their clients that they're seeing that day. And that just seems such a waste of time when you can automatically set up systems that will do the reminders for you. So if you are using Google Workspace and you're using your Google Calendar, you can have a free integration called G reminders, which are going to automatically send reminders to your clients for their appointments. And you can set this up so they're sent an hour before, 24 hours before, 48 hours before, the choice is yours. And what information goes into those email reminders is also up to you. You set it up once, and then the system takes care of it for you. This is also completely free, if I didn't mention that. 
And again, I have a video about all of the free integrations that you can have with Google Workspace and I will link that video too. There's a lot of linking going on in this video. If you're using a system like Calendly or TidyCal, depending on the level that you've set up, that system will also send the client automated reminders as well. So you just wanna check if that is the case with your level of subscription. The next area that you can look to set up a system for is with your invoicing and your overdue invoicing reminders. So if I was starting a private practice myself, Myself, and I didn't want to use an EHR like Power Diary, I wasn't ready for that yet, I would use systems like Stripe or PayPal to be able to send invoices. The benefit of these systems are twofold. Number one, you don't have to pay to use them. Yes, there will be a fee once the client pays, which are pretty similar. I'm going to put the current rates um, on screen so you can see if there's like a price difference between the two systems, but they both work really similarly. I can never say that word. They're both really similar. There is still some manual work to do with both of these systems. You do have to create the invoice, but it is the quickest way to send invoices to your clients. What I would suggest is if you are invoicing semi-manually, so this I would call semi-manually because the clients can click a link to make the payment. They don't have to transfer it to your BAX account and then you're not checking your bank account against the invoices, marking things off. You don't really want to avoid that as much as possible. What you do want to do is give them a link to be able to pay you. But if you are doing this, I would recommend invoicing on a monthly basis. You can invoice for all the sessions upcoming. So you can invoice in advance or you can invoice retrospectively. So at the end of the month, you invoice your clients for all of the sessions that they have had. Either or makes sense. And I have clients that do both ways. So this is a very popular way to invoice. And then your client is only having to make one payment a month. You're only having to check once a month that they've paid and it's just going to save you a lot of time. If you use Starlin as your bank account, you can actually invoice through Starlin as well. So you can get the business toolkit, you can send invoices. And when they pay, there are no fees because you're doing it with your bank. The business toolkit is currently seven pounds a month. I don't know if it's outside of the UK. I don't know if Starlin is a bank outside of the UK, but for the UK, it's seven pounds a month and you can also have your accounts on there as well. So that's another way of being able to automate your finances. Okay, so that is where I would start with automating. If I had a private practice, those are the areas that I would look at. Just to go over some of the tools and systems that I like to use with my clients who are therapists in private practice. The first one, come as no surprise, it is Google Workspace. This is gonna do so much for you. It's gonna have those Gmail templates, it's gonna have the Google Forms, it's gonna have Google Calendar, which you can then sync with G Reminders. It's gonna have Google Drive, where you can have all of your client data safely and securely uploaded there. So that is my number one recommendation for therapists in private practice. If you are looking to step up your automation game, I would definitely recommend getting an EHR. My pick is Power Diary, and you can do so much more automation there within the system. So if you are ready to have a highly organized, highly automated private practice, I would definitely recommend Power Diary, and I've got a full playlist all about Power Diary and the reasons why I love it. So you can check that out next. I also talked about Starling Bank, Stripe, PayPal, Canonly, TidyCal. I think that was mainly it. Lots of these systems are free to use and then you just pay as you go or they are really minimal amounts that you would use each month. So basically what I'm saying is you can hobble things together and with Google Workspace, there's not much hobbling because everything is kind of in one place, which is why I love it the most. But if you're not a Google person, if you're using Outlook or some other email platform, then you will need to probably put some of these other things together in order to be able to have a fully automated private practice. So you can do that or you can just get an EHR and that's gonna do so much more automation for you. So how should you get started with automating? My first tip is to start small. Look at one thing that you can automate in your private practice and start there. I would recommend starting with emails or your client intake and paperwork as they're probably gonna be the biggest time saver for you and the easiest way to get started. You can then move on to your scheduling systems and billing a little bit later. Another way to start is starting with your biggest pain point. What is it that causes you the most stress, the most worry, the biggest headache? 
takes you the most time, start there. If your scheduling is causing you the biggest headache right now or sending your appointment reminders to your clients, start there. That is a great place to start with what is causing you the most worry. That is a really good place to start is what is causing you the biggest headache. And you can just start from there and work your way down into the things that don't really bother you so much, but would be nice if automated. But you do want to review and refine this as things change. Right now, you might have five clients in private practice. And so some of this automation would be nice to have, but it really isn't causing you a lot of problems. But as you get to 10 or 15 clients, you will find that if you did the automation at five, it would have saved you a lot of time. And now that you're at 15 clients, maybe the automation you set up isn't quite working as well as you'd like, and you'd like to upgrade that to get an EHR or something like that. So you can always go back and look at what is working and what is not working, and make changes as you go. Okay, so that is all I have for you on automation in private practice. I really hope you found this video useful. I really hope that you have a place to start and some systems to start looking at. I have a full playlist on Google Workspace, on Power Diary. I've got videos on Signable. There are tons of videos on my channel that are really gonna help you in the next stages if you are looking to systematize and automate your private practice. I also wanna reassure you that no matter the size of your practice, you can get started with automation. It's never too soon and it's also never too late. So even if you just have one client, you can get started with automation because you're gonna thank yourself so much by the time you have 10 clients. And if you currently have a full private practice and you're feeling super overwhelmed, start small, start looking at what your biggest pain point is or what is causing you the most stress or taking the most time and just start with that. I'd really encourage you to start with one task this week. Your task could be to download my Gmail templates free resource and just get started with creating some email templates for your private practice. If you want some accountability, comment below and let me know what you are working on and I will check in with you and see how you're getting on. If you have any questions, also let me know. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.